Southwest Hardy Palms. Um, in today's video, we're going to be planting Utah's native Nolina. This is Nolina microcarpa. You can kind of see it there on the tag. Um, this is a really awesome Utah native plant. Um, it's also known as the bear grass, um, and it's related to yuccas, agaves, hesperalos. You know, it's in that. Uh, that family. Um, I'm going to be putting it right here where these uh, ugly daffodils are. So we're taking this out, um, putting it in front of this uh, rock here. It should fill up this whole space here. Um, it gets to a pretty nice size. It gets about six feet tall and six feet wide in a maturity. So it doesn't really get a trunk on this species. Um, I'm, I mean, it may in the wild on really old specimens, but uh, usually they don't really form a trunk. But they have those uh, really characteristic, you know, curly Q ends um, on the end of each leaf, which is really, really beautiful. Um, staple plant in all of the Southwest, really popular in Utah as well. Um, so I'll be getting this guy in the ground. Um, I am going to amend the soil slightly for this species, even though it is a native um, species. It grows in uh, basically pure sand, pure sandy areas here in Utah, um, specifically in like the Mojave Desert regions of Utah. Um, so I will be using a little bit of paver's base mixed in with our uh, native sandy, rocky, you know, uh, clay soils. Um, so I'll do a little bit of mix. Um, it should be perfect for this plant, but uh, I will get back to you once the hole is dug and I'll show you the mixture that I use, but uh, I'll get back to you. All right, I got the hole dug for this Nolina here. Man, was that a beast to dig. You can see there's two dumb pipes literally just lining the hole there. This garden is was designed by someone very, not very smart, that's all I'm gonna say. There are pipes literally like running throughout the whole garden, like through the bed. It's uh, So all these plants are like strategically placed on the other sides of all these pipes. It's so annoying. It's been uh, such a battle the whole time, but uh, finally got this hole dug. It's a lot closer to the walkway than I, or to this uh, um, edge that I was uh, than I was hoping. I was hoping to get it further back towards the rock, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so we'll get that in the ground. I've uh, filled this hole with uh, pure paver sand. That's what I use um, mostly um, if, if I have like, you know, really, really desert plants that need like pure sand, I'll use this paver sand here. Um, so uh, I'm gonna be mixing our pure or like our native soil here. You can see this is our dry native sandy soil with clay and stuff in it. So I'll be mixing this with that paver sand. Um, in this hole for this Nolina, so we'll get a really great uh, drainage. Also mix in a little bit of this uh, nice uh, potting soil with perlite in it, um, so we can uh, uh, get a little bit of nutrients in the soil as well, because our soil is very depleted of anything, basically, so besides uh, salt, salt and uh, alkalinity. So we'll get that in the ground, and uh, I'll get back to you. All right, I got this beautiful little specimen in the ground here. Pretty happy with its position. Now that I'm looking at it, it should have plenty of room to grow um, and get to its full potential, which uh, should take a pretty long time. They're kind of slow growing plants. But uh, another Utah native added to the, to the garden here. I have quite a few native plants. I'm really happy about. Um, I will add a picture of this plant when it's full grown. You can see it's uh, not a huge Nolina, but they have uh, really pretty flowers. Kind of look like uh, corn stalks a little bit. 
uh, pretty similar to Dasilirion blooms, but uh, just a really awesome native um, yucca and agave relative. Um, the leaves are very uh, serrated, so if you run your finger on it, you can definitely cut your finger. Uh, it's kind of like sawgrass, basically. That's probably why it's called bear grass, because it cuts you up, I'm guessing. But, uh, really pleased with this guy. And, uh, should add quite a bit of beauty to the garden here. But, uh, appreciate you guys watching. Take care.